The name changed from position assistant to position associate. Do I agree with it? No, I do not. Here's why. Okay, so first off, we can ask, do I like the name physician assistant? No, I don't like that either because I don't think that it adequately describes what we do. Physician assistant kind of has the connotation of like a medical assistant. As in when you hear physician assistant and you don't know what it is that we do, a lot of people would probably think we get blood pressure. We might ask, you know, medication lists. We might check people in, do some paperwork, do whatever it is the doctor needs us to do, the physician needs us to do and assist them and then that's it. That's what physician assistant sounds like. It sounds like medical assistant. So for that reason, no, I don't like the name physician assistant. Physician associate, I think, is a little bit misleading because, for instance, like you see the name of a law firm, let's say Wakefield and Associates, right? So you see that name of the law firm and you know that it's a bunch of lawyers that are all associates and they're all working together at this law firm. So calling us physician associates is a little disingenuous and misleading because it sounds like we are at the same level as the physicians, which we're not. Physician assistants are not physicians and we never will be. So we definitely should not kind of try to inflate our name and try to make it even more confusing to patients that are you a physician? Are you a physician associate? What does that mean? No, I'm a PA. It's a different job than what a physician is. It's a different job than what a doctor is. So I disagree with physician associate. So that leaves us with what, a third choice? We don't like physician assistant. We don't like physician associate. So maybe we should change it to something else. No, I think we should not change it even though physician assistant is an imperfect name. I think physician assistant is an imperfect name because it does not adequately describe what we do. We provide a very high level of care. We form diagnoses, we treat, we prescribe, we do procedures a lot of times on our own. We provide a very high level of medical care. So physician assistant is not fair. That being said, this profession is just over 50 years old and most people still don't know what a, what a PA is, what a physician assistant is. So even though when you come in the room, you say, hi, I'm Boris, I'm a physician assistant. Even when the nurse checks them in, they say the physician assistant will be in with you or they'll say the provider, they don't say the doctor. They'll say the physician assistant will be in with you. My coat literally says physician assistant. On their discharge paperwork, it literally says physician assistant. And the patient, even after all that information, every time they've come into the office for hundreds of times at this point in their life, I will still overhear on the phone with one of their family members, oh, hey, I gotta go, the doctor's here. It's just, it's not gonna change. And well, okay, I'm not gonna be that pessimistic. It's changing, it's changing slowly, more and more and more and more. People who are not working in medicine are slowly trying to figure out what a nurse practitioner is, what a physician assistant is, the difference is we're not the doctor, but we do can't we can do this, this, and that. We're doing a lot for you. So it's very slowly changing in people's vernacular, the common person who is not in medicine's vernacular, what a PA is. So do we really want to change the name and confuse everybody again and then set our profession back in other 50 years? No, I don't think so. I'm a if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of person. We're just very, very slowly starting to educate people on what a PA is. Let's not change the name yet again and make it something even more confusing and then you know, set our profession back and make people not know what we do all over again just because we don't like the name and it hurts our egos a little bit that we're being called an assistant even though we do much more than assist. It's just, it's okay. It's okay to have the name not perfect. It's okay to have the name not perfect because it's better for the greater good, it's better for patient care and I think we should spend much more energy, less energy on this and much more energy worrying about how to fix healthcare in this country because it's so broken. So many things are a problem. Why does insulin cost $1,000? Why does Ozempic cost $2,000? Why are there lab tests for just very basic workups that cost $3,000? Why? And then why is it different in Spain? Why does everything cost less than 10% of what it costs in the United States? And not just Spain, but all over the world. Okay, why don't we worry about fixing that and not what to call ourselves that people don't really even care about anyway? Okay, there's the technical professional way to call somebody, a physician assistant, PA, PAC. And then there's the common way, which people who are not in medicine know us. And that's basically, are you the person that takes care of me medically? Are you the person that I tell my medical concerns to? Are you the person that refills my blood pressure medication? Okay, in my mind, I'm putting you in the box of doctor. Yes, I realize because I'm an informed patient that you're not a physician, you did not go to medical school, you're something a little different. But to me, that's the role you play, the end. Now I'm gonna go worry about my life 
and my job and my kids and whatever else I worry about in my life, not your job title. So the only people that really care about this are PAs, NPs, doctors, and you know, administrators and academics. It's kind of like, if you ever heard the term luxury belief, it's like something that people who are very privileged get to worry about and get to spend their time worrying about and literally nobody else does. This is one of those things. So we spend hours and days and push legislation and all this stuff for a name change because we don't like how it sounds instead of actually fixing the problems with healthcare. You see how that's a luxury belief? I think it's a luxury belief. I think we should spend much more time and resources and effort on actually fixing healthcare instead of, oh, I don't like my name. I'm gonna change it now. Okay, I, I recognize it's an imperfect name. I don't like the name either, but am I all that worried about it? No, I like my job. I like what I do. I like, you know, how the patients see me. I like being able to help the patients and literally what the position is called. It's just so low on the list of things that matter that I don't think we should change it or worry about this anymore whatsoever.